What is up everyone? Um, you could guess it from the title. Uh, this video is going to be different from normal. I usually try to share fun and exciting things with you, but I consider all experiences in life useful and this is one of them. Uh, so I want to tell you how I got jumped by three guys and how they stole all my stuff. So how everything started, I was going to go to Mannheim Longboard Open because Philip and Joseph invited me. Uh, but one day before that I wanted to skate with Aaron, one of my friends that uh, studies in Leuven. So that day I went to Leuven, we skated there, you probably will see the footage at some point. Uh, and then the next day I left to Leuk because I had a bus connection with Flixbus to Mannheim direct. Um, and that's where it all happened. Basically I was just first walking around the station just taking a look because it was a beautiful station. Uh, I shot some like things for the vlog there. Uh, all good and then uh, I got the message that my bus was 15 minutes late uh, so I just took a seat at the stairs of the big entrance um, and just I was just chilling there I took a call and then I saw my bus arriving um, and then so I put my phone away grabbed all my stuff I had like a big bag here then my board here and then two smaller bags on my back uh, and I just started walking towards the bus now at some point I heard someone yelling like can you help me or like can you help me out I was like sure what's up um, and he was like yeah is this like uh, which was already that was like the first confusing thing like of course you know where you ended up like you know what city you are in I guess uh, and he was like I'll say like sure um, he, and then he kind of like grabbed my hand already he was like oh thank you thank you thank you and came like really close uh, which was I don't know this was really like confusing but I played it nice I mean whatever uh, and then at some point he just like grabbed my hand he just kept shaking I was like okay sure like, I, I pulled away um, and then at, at that point there were like two other guys behind me uh, I guess so in total there were three of them uh, and I was like okay I feel kind of surrounded so I like, just looked down and just grabbed on myself and started walking away uh, but they were like they didn't let me and like just started pushing me around and then stuff like that and then they just like pushed me to the ground, uh, just grabbed all my, like most of my stuff and then just, just like left. And I was just there like kind of li lying on the ground like in shock like what just happened. Um, and then when I came back like I don't know like when I snapped back like um, I thought I'd try to like run behind them but I still had my suitcase on me so I couldn't run that fast. Uh, and But they were already gone. I looked around, no police, lots of people just sitting there watching, like nobody even caring or anything. Um, so after that I went to the police, they were just like, yeah, stuff like that happens here. I was like, yeah, sure, but five minutes ago maybe you can check the footage or just go out and I mean, maybe they're still close by. They're like, yeah, I mean, still the chance of you finding your stuff close to zero, so there's no point. Um, so they just wrote me a report and said like, yeah, just show that at the train station and you'll get home. Uh, so I was taking like uh, a big bag like with different electronics in it, uh, my phone, uh, my passport, like my um, wallet and everything. And that was all taken. Uh, luckily, <laughs> the only positive thing about this whole thing is uh, my camera was in my like bigger suitcase and I guess they thought like there's no point in grabbing that heavy thing or there might be clothes in it or whatever but they didn't grab my camera and my tripod, so which is great, I guess. That's the only positive thing. And after that, uh, I just showed the report at the train station. They gave me a ticket um, and I went back home. Like that was a three hour ride, which was really like awful because I was just sitting there still kind of in shock. Luckily, I could use someone's phone to just like call my parents, uh, call my girlfriend. And yeah, so then I got home and uh, so yeah, that's the reason as well why I was online the whole time, offline the whole time, because I don't have a phone, uh, and I just kind of didn't feel like doing anything, and that's also the reason why I'm not in Mannheim, because I don't have like my uh, passport, my f whatever credit cards, wallet, and most of my stuff as well. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm just at home sitting here, um, and I know this all sounds negative, but just just like I don't want to sound too negative, I guess. Uh, it's all a learning experience. Just it just blows my mind that I travel the world like all the time. Uh, been to sketchy places, been to normal places, lots of big, uh, I mean train stations, whatever. And this stuff didn't happen ever before. And then at the train station here in Belgium, 
I get jumped by like three guys and my shit gets stolen and lots of people watching and nobody even like giving one single fuck to just like help me or maybe point out where they went nothing just so that's like I don't want to end it on a sad note but this sense of public security that we have like someone will help me if something happens it's just an absolute joke um, I mean yeah so yeah that's kind of sad but <laughs> something new on this channel as well maybe um, I, I came home so it's almost my, almost my birthday I really need a new phone because I want to keep up with the with Instagram and everything I just generally need a phone my old one does not support Instagram anymore it's a pretty old one uh, so what did I do I mean thanks to my parents they, they were like yeah okay that, that situation sucks you're getting a new phone from us, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Uh, the unboxing. I mean, this unboxing is not going to be as, uh, like, I don't know, exciting as usual because I know exactly what's in there because I ordered it myself. But uh, I'm still pretty stoked. Uh, actually, I ordered the same phone that I had because it was an absolute, like, killer phone for that price. Uh, I don't like phones that are, like, too pricey because, for obvious reasons, just in case it gets stolen. <laughs> Uh, or if you drop it while longboarding or anything, so um, so this. Um, <laughs> sorry, headphone users. <laughs> so I got the same phone that I already had. Um, it's a Lenovo P2. Like this phone is super good because uh, because of the battery life. Actually, uh, I use it up to two three days, like on internet, 4G, and everything, uh, Wi-Fi. And it's still like alive after two three days which is great uh, I like that about it uh, then of course okay the only downside about the whole phone is that it's really big like it doesn't fit in your hand or in your pocket uh, but other than that it's a really great phone it has like a metal case instead of just like a plastic one which I really dislike uh, so I got that and with it I got a, like a protective like sleeve for it and what else do I have I have like the screen protector, like the anti-scratch anti protector, whatever, and a uh, 64 gig um, micro SD card because I have a lot of footage and I have a lot of pictures, so I need a lot of uh, storage on my phone. Uh, so yeah, that's probably pretty new to this channel, uh, unboxing of a phone. But uh, it's just, I didn't want to end this video on like a negative note. Um, this whole situation sucks. Uh, like never expected it kind of ruined my whole trip I'm super bummed that I cannot make it to Mannheim because I was supposed to be one of the judges uh, probably letting some people down like Philip and Joseph I'm sorry but uh, just after this whole thing traveling for now didn't seem like something I want to do as well and I just couldn't because of my passport and stuff like that I'm just gonna skate it off um, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep up with Instagram. Uh, I love all of you that supported me through Instagram. Like I got a ton of messages just asking people asking like, yo, what happened? Uh, where's the daily post or whatever? Like that really warms my heart and uh, it's just amazing to have like a community that supports you like in tough times as well uh, and just motivates me to just keep making these videos, having fun, uh, and just learning from like negative experiences like this. Uh, I'll make sure that next time when people like come up to me, I won't like let my guard down that easily. Uh, I'll still be nice to everyone, but just be more protective of my stuff maybe. Um, and just in general, like like I said, public safety um, sucks that nobody helped. Uh, no police around, so yeah, that 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 all sucked. But uh, in general, I, I'm not dead. Uh, I didn't get really really beat up or anything. Uh, so it could have been worse, um, I'm just gonna stay positive, go out and skate right now and have a good time. I hope you will do too.